By law, any suspect arrested and detained at a police station may apply and be given a police bond. However, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Jane Francis Abodo, says there is need to adjust the law because not all offenders, especially those suspected to have committed capital offences, deserve police bond. Like terrorism, can you give a police bond? Because you'll wake up one time and someone deep in Amuru has given a suspect of terrorism a police bond. Will you ever see that person? You will never see them. So I think we need to sit down and come up with guidelines on police bond, which are the offenses you can give. Asman Matovo, a lawyer, says that what the DPP is suggesting is already in practice and it is rare that suspects of capital offenses are given police bond. But it has also become very hard that even on minor offenses, police is very reluctant to give bond. It is the same with the courts of law. Ever since there was a pronunciation to ensure that uh, someone com uh, accused of a capital offense should not be given uh, court bail, you are seeing that when you are charged, you are arraigned in court, high courts are becoming reluctant to give an accused person bail. Denying a suspected capital offender police bond translates to keeping him or her in custody for up to 48 hours as provided by the Constitution. Lawyer George Musisi was offered legal services to several suspects accused of committing capital offences, says the police detain suspects even beyond the legally provided period. He argues that investigators usually lack enough evidence to present against the suspects in the courts. It's wrong to think that you shouldn't release on bond and you should then keep beyond the 48 hours or that you should stretch it 48 hours because at the time you arrest, it's only you, the arresting officers, who has evidence against this person. Investigators will tell you that they go to a particular station and they are waiting for one state attorney who is appearing before four judicial officers to sanction a charge. The police officers wait there until evening. They go back. That's one day, almost 12 hours gone. The next day they come back, the status one is in a high court session, which starts from 8 to around 6, sometimes even 7. And then 48 hours go, and then we say the police are over-detaining. This 48 hours, needs, we need this conversation. It has to be at the backdrop of, do we have enough staff on the ground? It's not clear what guidelines the DPP is proposing for now at least. But what would happen if the law is adjusted in the future to limit or prohibit suspects of capital offences police bond? The moment we let it uh, the other way around that no police you can hold this person on this charge, don't, don't release them on bond uh, until you are sufficient, you have sufficiently covered the investigation to take them to court, that will mean that police can easily slap on you murder charges or terrorism charges. Then after one month, they say, okay, you can go. We've investigated and found that uh, you didn't commit anything. So for me, I think it's important that a person is brought before court as soon as practicable. Whereas the lawyers NTV spoke to appear to agree with the DPP that police should not give bond to suspects of capital offenses, they insist that they must be taken before a court within 48 hours for their fate to be decided. Daniel Kibet, NTV tonight.